Hello Hillsong Kids, my name is Taryn and I am so excited that I get to hang out with you today. Well, today's big point, are you ready for it? Is don't ignore God's commands. Can you say that with me? Don't ignore God's commands. Hmm, you can all see this picture I'm holding up. What does this make you think of? When you see this picture, can you call out, what is this? Can you call out? That's right, it's a robot. Or if you lived in other countries, they would say a traffic light. And what do you need to do when you get to the, when you see the red light show up? What do you need to do? Can you call out? That's right, Chloe, you need to stop. Can everybody show me? Stop. All right. And when you see the amber light, what should you do? Can you call out? That's right. You need to slow down or stop because the lights are going to turn red. Now, when you see the green light and you're driving in your car, what should you do? That's right. You keep driving. You get to drive through the traffic intersection and you get to keep on driving your car. When the green light, when you see the green light, you can go. Well done, Heels on Kids. You guys are pretty smart. Maybe some of you have your driver's licenses already. No, not yet. Hey, well, traffic lights are really, really important because they help keep us safe. Do you know why? Because with the instructions, when we follow the traffic lights, the cars know when they need to stop and when they need to drive. If everybody drove when there was a red light, the cars would drive into each other and there'd be terrible crashes and they would bump into each other. So you need to follow the lights in order to follow the road rules and to stay safe when driving your car. So traffic lights are very, very important and they keep us safe. If when we follow the traffic rules, we'll be safe in our cars. Show me a thumbs up. Well done. Well, do you know what? God's commands are also there to keep us safe. In fact, I want to read to you from Deuteronomy 5.33. It says, Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Basically, it's saying follow God's rules. And when you follow God's rules, you will live a long and happy life. God has given us these rules to keep us safe. Just like the robot keeps us safe when we're driving, when we follow the colors, God's rules and God's commands keep us safe. So I'd like to share with you a bit from the Bible. Are you ready? All right, let me show you my first picture. Today's Bible story, as you can hear, we're talking about following God's commands. Well, many, many years ago, in fact, way back at to the beginning of the Bible, we learn about God's people called the Israelites. Do you remember? We've learned about the Israelites before. God's people, the Israelites, lived in Egypt, which was, it was very, very hard for them. They were slaves, which meant they had to work all the time. They couldn't make their own choices. And God, God's people, they were very, very sad and they were not very, very happy. And God helped them escape. He used a man called Moses and he helped them escape Egypt. Everybody go, yes, the, the God's people were free. God took them into the desert and they camped there. And they camped there for a few months in the desert. And while they were there, God realized they would need a few rules or commands to help them to live. And so God met with Moses at the top of one of the mountains and he spent some time, God spent time with Moses telling him what he wanted Moses to teach the people. And he even wrote on tablets of stone with his finger. The Bible tells us God wrote with his finger on the tablets of stone. And he gave Moses 
these commands to live by. And they were, I am the Lord your God, have no other gods before me. Don't make statues or idols and worship them. Don't misuse my name and set aside a day to honor God. Honor your mother and father, Hillsong kids. Do you follow that rule? That's a, that's a very important one. Do not murder or commit adultery. Don't steal or tell lies. And do not yearn for what others have. These were, these were the commands that God gave his people in order to help them to live, in order to help them to work together and to be able to live together peacefully. Now, we've been learning about a very special sermon called the Sermon on the Mount. For the last few weeks, we've learned um, how Jesus was on a mountain and he gathered the people closely and he taught them different lessons in order to help them. This was thousands of years after Moses and the Israelites had escaped Egypt, thousands of years after them um, receiving those tablets and the commandments. And Jesus he was on the mountain, there he is, and he was teaching the people, and he was teaching them a different way of living. You know, Jesus talked about um, the laws that God had given to Moses, and he says, don't ignore God's commands. The laws of God will never disappear. Obey them and teach others to obey them. You see, Hillsong kids, Jesus didn't come to replace the old laws but he came to show us a new way to live by them, a way to live peacefully with others, a way that we can help others and love others. He still wants us to follow those rules, but he gave us a different way. Sometimes we use the word grace, a way of being kind, a way of caring for others, a way of putting others first. So, sitting on the mountainside, Jesus pointed to the grass and the flowers in the field and the birds in the air. And he said to the people, don't worry, because if you put God first, he will look after you. Do you see the birds? Look how beautiful they are. Look at their beautiful feathers. God knows. He knows everything about the birds and he knows all about them and he looks after them and feeds them. And look at the flowers. See all the beautiful different flowers? Wow, God made all those beautiful flowers and he clothed them to look so beautiful. In the same way, God thinks you are so much more important than the flowers and the birds. So imagine how he wants to look after you. So you mustn't worry. And we're going to finish off our story where it's, he, the Bible says, don't worry about anything. Because if God's going to look after the birds and God is looking after the flowers, imagine how much more God wants to look after you, Hillsong kids. You don't need to worry about tomorrow. You don't need to worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear. Because God, when you put God first, he will look after you and he will put you first. That was an awesome story, wasn't it? I love the stories Jesus told on the mountain and how we can learn from them. So right now, we're going to go into our big word. So I think you should all stand to your feet, do your little dance moves. There we go. You ready? We're going to go into our big word, and then we're going to come back and wrap up. Then 
Okay, Hillsong kids, that was awesome dancing the big word. Well done. Would you like to play a little game with me? You would? Well, maybe you can all stand to your feet and I'm going to ask my friend Cassidy. She's going to come play with us. So we're going to play a game of Simon Says. I'm going to give instructions and then you must follow them. And you must follow them too, Hillsong kids. I'm going to be seeing who is doing the best following. Here we go. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your knees. Hilson kids, are you touching your knees? Simon says, stretch up tall. Hmm. Simon says, stand on one foot. Simon says, uh, touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your nose. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for playing the game with me, Cassidy. Bye. Bye. Yelson kids, did you see Cassidy? Did you see how she was playing? I don't understand. I gave instructions and I said, touch your head. And then she touched her nose. She did all the opposite. She didn't follow the rules of the game. Oh no. Hmm. That's a little confusing, isn't it? Well, today we're talking about don't ignore God's commands. That is our big point. So we're talking about following the rules. Hills and kids, the Bible tells us to follow God's rules and God has given us lots of rules in his special Bible, the special book, the Bible, ways for us to follow him. And so we mustn't be like Cassidy and do our own thing. She was following, making up her own rules and following her own game. No, we must follow what the Bible says and we must live how God wants us to live. I'm very sure that you played Simon Says very, we're following all the rules. So well done to all of you. This week, can you help me by following some of God's rules? And by following God's rules, we put God first and we love others. Today's Bible story was about Jesus on the Mount, talking to all the people and saying how much God how, how we should also follow the rules that God has set out for us. So Hillsong kids, can you give me a thumbs up if you're going to follow God's rules this week? Follow his commands? Well done. Shall I pray for us? Let's close our eyes. Dear God, thank you so much that you love us. Thank you so much for the Bible that we can learn from so that we can know what rules to follow and that we can follow your rules to live a happy and healthy life. We love you. Amen. Can you all say amen? Good job. All right, Hillsong kids, are you ready to go out and follow some of God's rules? Good job. See you next week.